Welcome to Cigar City Radio, episode number 60, the last episode of 2017. What a year it's been. Thank you to everybody that's joined us for all these episodes this year. We have plenty more content coming at you next year. It's taking a little break, relaxing for the holidays. We hope that you enjoy your holidays as well. Have a wonderful new year. We'll see you in 2018. I'm your host, Randy Ojeda, and making the magic happen, Mr. Jason wears a Bob Snyder shirt, Solon is. Hey, Randy, what are you going to do with all this free time when we're not podcasting? There, well, There's really no free time, but... What are you going to do with I'm all the time gonna, that you, we were spending That we would have been podcasting? I don't know. What are you going to do? That's the question. I was thinking about taking too much <laughs> putting a bunch of nails through the <laughs> and swinging it at people like a medieval instrument of battle. You know, I think more than anybody, you would fit in with Guar. I, like, I think if Guar just took you on as a slave, you would be. I in could your be a playwright. For yeah, him. you'd be in your element. Yeah. It would be beautiful. Guar, hit us up. Yeah, cut the check. The Cigar City Radio podcast is now available on Spotify. That's right. Spotify, in addition to music and videos, has now expanded into podcast offerings. And Cigar City Radio has been chosen, 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 chosen by Spotify to be part of their podcast selection. So if you go to the Spotify app and you type in Cigar City Radio, you will find not only the Cigar City Radio companion playlist, but now the Cigar City Radio podcast in full every single episode. And of course, you can also follow Cigar City Radio on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at Cigar City Radio. Our guests on this episode are Jismac Dagusha and Sawborg Destructo from the legendary metal band Guar. You might remember Guar from episode 41 during our Warp Tour coverage. We had a few minutes to talk with them then, but this time we got to spend more time with them ahead of their show at the Ritz Ebor. For those who aren't familiar with Guar, Jason, hit him with the story. Long ago, the beings who would become the rock band Guar were part of an elite fighting force, the scum dogs of the universe. For eons, they served as thralls to a supreme being, only known as the Master. But one by one, each future member of the band earned a glaring reputation for being an intergalactic fuck-up. And so, they were banished, sent away on fool's errand to conquer an insignificant shitball floating in a dark corner of the universe the planet Earth. Once here, Guar shaped the face of the globe, destroying and rebuilding the natural world, and giving rise to all human history. Aliens to some, gods and demons to others, our erstwhile scum dogs, fucked apes to create the human race. And this fateful, unplanned pregnancy would prove to be truly disastrous. Well done, Jason. That was quite the tale. You're welcome, Randy. And any any time you need me to say things, I'll say them. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's Guar. Their new album, The Blood of Gods, is out now. For more, head to Guar.net or the Guar TV Roku channel, the Guar Bar in Richmond, Virginia. Get some Guar BQ sauce, some cigars. There's literally Guar everything. I wish there was a Guar everything. I was I was wearing Guar underwear. Uh, I'm sure it's there. Check check the merch store, man. They have extensive merch. Hey, Guar, I got merch ideas, too. Under Guar. Un- under- oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So here it is. Episode number 60. With our lords and masters, Guar. Don't forget that. This is Jismac the Gusher of Guar. I beat all things, mostly myself. And I'm Solborg Destructo, Guar's arch enemy. That's why I don't know why I'm sitting at the table with this douchebag. Yeah, how, do you guys even get along? Uh, Not really. So, you know, if we break out into a fight, you know. Once in a while. Just get out I, of the way. Yeah, when I need, like, a spare part for one of my, one of my space vehicles... Then he comes in handy, but otherwise, 
nuisance. So for the, we have a lot of younger listeners who haven't been, I guess, initiated into Guar. They don't know what Guar is. And I, I mean, I guess it's kind of a difficult thing to explain, but for the listeners, what is Guar? Where did Guar come from? You have to come to the Guar show to be anointed in all the fluids to figure out what Guar truly is. You have to see it firsthand. What, and what do you mean by fluids? All kinds of fluids, blood, urine, jizz, whatever, whatever we got, bile. And you just let that all out onto the crowd. Absol- Why not? Absolutely. But that's what they that's what they want though, right? Of course. No, wh- now where did Guar come from though? Like what's outer the- space. Outer space. Yes. I'm actually sent on a mission to track down these decadent rock and roll assholes known as Guar to you feeble humans on in our planet Scumdagia, they are fierce warriors. But they fucked up way too many times, so they've been banished to Earth as punishment. But I'm here to come take them back, to come to the good graces of the Master, and fight all of his battles. No way. It's too much fun down here. We're doing crack and having sex with kids and, you know, whatever we want. It's great down here. Uh, Thus, you know. it's difficult to get them away. Yeah. I mean, that seems like a popular thing now. Is, like, Kevin Spacey involved? or? Oh, well, I don't know. You know, I, I think uh, probably uh, Odorous. Our past uh, singer probably taught Weinstein a thing or two, you know. I mean, I'm sure that, you know. Straight from the book of Odorous. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's, it was just a matter of time until the humans figured it out and publicized it all over your social media interweb thingies. Yeah, but your your Guar is seemingly taking over the interwebs. I know there's Guar TV now on the on the Roku channel, and Guar is everywhere. So is that is that how you conquer by just infiltrating us from the inside? Well, Sleazy P. Martini, you know, he he makes us do his bidding, whatever, just to make him money, and he sees, uh, you know, a new uh, avenue of revenue show up, like the internet or TV channels or whatever it is, and he's gonna. He's going to stick it right to us. Now we're sticking it to you. <laughs> you really are sticking it. I'm actually getting a little frightened uh, just being in, your, being in your presence. So I'm going to do what I do and just talk about music. I'm a little scared to, to talk about anything else oh, right now. Oh, here we go, the music. Yeah, uh, the new album, The Blood of Gods. It's so great. It's yes. the first album without your fallen leader, Odorous. You know, and Well, that's why it makes sense to you humans because he's not babbling all over it. Like a lunatic. Yeah, I mean, speaking scum doggies, you know, you don't yeah. understand it as much as uh, this new record. So. Yeah, no one could understand his pure genius and Guar's genius until now, so we dumbed it down a little bit. Yeah, brought it down a notch or two. So that you guys could latch onto it so that we could take over. We've been having a really hard time with you little pukes, uh, stealing all our thunder and doing all the weird, gross yeah, stuff that Guar loves to do. I mean... Uh, maybe we taught you too well, yeah, like bastard I think, offspring. I, think I don't that's know. What it is. I think you guys learned too well because, you know, as many wars and plagues and famines and all this other stuff that you've got going on that we love to do, you're, you're, you're killing it. You're yeah, you're taking all the, all the credit. Yeah. Weinstein's yeah. getting all the credit. And look at us. We're yeah. sitting over here doing an interview with you. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah. there are sicker motherfuckers out there right now. There or- shouldn't be. There should only be Guar. This is our <laughs> job. We're not yeah. condoning doing all these evil things. We're doing them. Yes. Yeah. It's just, that's just you how should you live. leave this to us. The human being should just get straight. It should be fodder for us. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've been really fucking things up as, as far as our planet goes. Yeah, you know, like we're hanging out here. This is just our part-time party planet, and you're screwing it up. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. You, can't, you can't blow it up or have it implode before we're done here. Yeah, you know? we want to like, suck it dry. You guys, you guys should slow your roll here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how should we know when you're done? <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, it'll you'll be, be dead. Uh, weathered, That's how you'll know. Husk, you know? I mean, <laughs> there'll be a withered husk of earth, and then we'll when leave. You, when your when your pile of, when your uh, body is at the top of the heap, top of the pile, then you'll know. <laughs> so, so I heard you you just released some new. Uh, I guess scripture is what, what what we should probably call it. The the comic book Orgasmageddon. Yes. Can, can you tell me a little bit about that? <clears throat> well, it uh, chronicles some uh, stories between. Uh, the last record, which was the last battle with uh, Mr. Perfect, to uh, this record, The Blood of the Gods. And uh, that's, uh, you know, pretty much what it does. It chronicles that Well, story. everything that you guys have going on is fake news. 
the the actual orgasm again. That is that actual happened. the real history. That's that happened. actually happened. Yeah. Not all the stuff that's going on with you humans and teeth. This actually happened, and you guys missed the coverage completely. No one covered the story. Really, nobody. No. Nothing. So there was I mean, actually there was a third not even World Huffington War. Post. There were yeah. There was a third World War where they yeah, nuked so, the crap out of Antarctica, and uh, you know you guys missed it. You know why? Trump and I don't know who else. You know why? Penguins don't have fingers to write shit down. So there were no penguins there. So there were no penguin marketers, no penguin news reporters there. So no one, no one saw it happen. Man, yeah, you guys are crazy. It's good that Guar was there. It would have been great if it could have happened. Nuked Antarctica when Metallica was there. Yeah, that would have been nice. (laughs) (laughs) Would you? Didn't they play there? They think they played there. They tried to take once again. The humans trying to take Guar's Thunder. Like we're going to be the we're first band to play in Antarctica. We live in Antarctica. We've been playing yeah. Antarctica for centuries. Yeah. So who who is Metallica to come and think that they're well, you know, Guar? More Metallica. fake news for you humans. It's the first year in a while that there was no Guar BQ, right? Yeah. Is that because of our just shitty humans? It's just, a punishment. Yeah. It's, so you, just, you couldn't <laughs> yeah. give us a barbecue it's, this year. Yeah. It's go to the corner and cry. That's what we want you to do. That's yeah. Like a child. Yeah. What is on the horizon for Guar? Because I know you just finished Warp Tour, doing this tour now for the Blood of Gods. Is there going to be more Guar music on the horizon? Well, there's going to be more touring, probably, to kill all the human beings on the planet during this record cycle. We got to go to Australia and Europe and South America and Mexico. Although I'm not sure how we're going to get over the wall. Is yeah. there a wall there's up a, yet? There, Well, there's a wall. They're trying to build a wall around the whole planet, apparently. Yeah, because we're aliens from yeah, outer space. Yeah, they want to keep so. us out. Yeah. I would think that you'd be able to get through the wall, though. Yeah, it's not going to be too difficult. Yeah, I but, mean, you know, I've what, seen your weapons. I mean, you guys, that's the problem. I mean, you guys uh, you guys fuck too fast and have too many kids, and they're just, uh, it's we're, like, it's a never end. Yeah, we're going to be on tour forever people. trying to kill you. It's but. like, I don't even know. I mean, every time I think we killed you all, you keep coming back like cockroaches. It's crazy. All I can say is come to the cannibalistic blood orgy guar show and be killed and secure your corpse a place at the top of the heap. Is that is that the best advice is just for us to just give in to guar? Yeah. Sacrifice ourselves to guar? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We shouldn't we shouldn't nah. try to fight back. That's nah. the only that's the I mean, only redeeming it's, it's funner that way, but I mean, you know, whatever. Uh, what better way to redeem yourself? I'm getting a little tired though, you know, like it would be nice if you just kind of like lined up and let us, you know, chop your heads off one at a time. It'd be yeah, nice orderly fashion. It'd be good. We should make it easy for you. Yeah, just make it easy. Well, I don't know. What do you think? You want to? You want to? You want to fight a little bit more? Yeah, I like, I like. I like the battle. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, fight. I like <laughs> finding new ways to dismember and crush bones and things like that. So, do you, do you think if Guar were a house in Game of Thrones, would Guar win the Game of Thrones? Absolutely. I mean, what do you mean? That, I mean, that's that's no question. Who would be the the biggest rival to Guar? Mm, those dragons are pretty tough. I don't know. Yeah, anything, I, I don't, that, anything that flies. Yeah, I hate yeah. it. They got a strategic advantage in battle. But you know, we do have our dinosaur Gorgor, so we could probably take them. Take them out. Gorgor versus dragons. Yeah, that would be a, that would be a battle for the ages. Yeah, I can't imagine. So it'd be like Game of Thrones two or something. I don't know. Right, I like that. Guar of Thrones. Guar of Thrones. Thrones. Yeah, that. yes. that's even better. I'm, I'm so in for Guar better, of Thrones. Yeah. So I have a few. I have a list of some names here, and I'm just curious. Uh, I'm just. I just want to know what Guar thinks about some of these people. Okay, I. I it was initially. I can tell you, they all suck. That's, I, that's what much. I was guessing. <laughs> a lot of these people suck. So let's let's see. I'm curious. What does Guar think about Kanye West? He's the greatest uh, self-proclaimed uh, lyricist of uh, of this era, and much like uh, error, <laughs> era, era, error. <laughs> it's, he's an error. You know. <laughs> well, there's that. But there's a lot of self-proclaimed geniuses like Howard Stern, the king of all media, and Michael Jackson, the king of pop. Like, how do you just give yourself a title? You guys tied and you know gave us lords and masters. We didn't come up with that. That's yeah. that has been told to me by humans. So another self-proclaimed idiot, just stealing your godlike thunder. No, oh, he's just 
you know, he's not supposed to be as full of himself as we are as full of ourselves. We know we're great. He's got to actually tell everybody yeah. he's great. Yeah, you don't need to tell anybody at all. Not at that all. That makes sense. What about Marilyn Manson? Again. <laughs> no, Marilyn Manson's great. I'd love to... I mean, you know, Guar has been called shock rock and, the, you know, Alice Cooper's kind of, you know, kiss the natural progression of this genre that, of music that you have on your planet here. And, you know, if Guar came along way before the Mansons and the mud veins and the slip knots and all those things. So, of course, we're going to take credit for their existence. I mean, I'm happy to put more vile and evil into the world with other acts like Marilyn Manson, where do you think they got it from? Yeah. In a way, you fucked them into existence. Absolutely. So what about Donald Trump? <laughs> Man, that guy is hilarious. Yes. I haven't seen he's a comedian funniest, on this planet like that guy. I mean, in, I just, in a long time. I mean, I mean he's, he's no a, Bill he's Hicks. He's a comedian, right? He's, he's but, a comedian, right? Yeah. No, I, I, he's, he's, no he's, no he's a president. Hicks, he's, you, no, pre- president he's a president of what? Well, that job's a yeah. joke. I mean, Everybody comics, knows it. jokes? I guess. What I mean, about- it seems like <clears throat> it seems like if you you know you're just wondering what the next thing this guy's gonna do and man he whips one out that's funnier than the last yeah every time every time he's a hoot he's also probably literally whipping them out right? <laughs> yeah <laughs> grabbing them and whipping them and whatever him and, <laughs> him and Louis CK should hang out yeah they should do a bit <laughs> together <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they would like <laughs> each other. <laughs> What I just a, thought they would be the greatest odd couple. We should do the new movie. Yeah. <laughs> Trump and Louis C.K. is the odd couple. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what Maybe about, you kids are too young to know who the odd couple is. That's, that's probably the case. <laughs> what about Dick Cheney? Brilliant man. Wiped out lots of humans. It's good. Good he, man. He shot good a man. few people in the face. Yeah. 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 You know, you, it get, got away with it. It's really cool. Good guy. Yeah, good, guy. good guy. Good guy. Great name. Yeah. Yeah. How about Pee Wee Herman? Oh, Peter Herman, he's he's masterful, a genius. masterful, he's a genius. Yes, yeah, good human that one. Yeah, I love hanging out with him in the uh, you know adult theaters. They're, it's really cool. Uh, and what about the Cash Me Outside girl? Who the never fuck heard of her? Never heard of the Cash Me Outside girl? <laughs> never. She, heard of she's her. on a major label right now. She's got a major label deal. Cash Me Outside. What, what cash Me Outside. Oh, I don't know. All right, fucker. Grumpy. I like crack. We don't like cash. <laughs> what about grumpy cat? Grumpy cat. Grumpy yeah. cat. <laughs> Does Guar? I feel like Guar and Grumpy Cat would get along. I mean, I, I don't think he'd like us very much. No, he'd be uh, mad if, at us. If he's as tasty as the other cats, fine. Grumpy yeah. cat. Check. Throw, throw throw some barbecue sauce on him. We got it. All right. I, I dig that. I would I would throw some barbecue sauce on the on the grumpy cat. Well, barbecue sauce. Yeah, barbecue. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Barbecue sauce. And uh, what about Taylor Swift? Oh, jeez. Is she having? She have a record out now? She does. She has a new album. It's out. like it's like number one, of course. Yes. God, you humans are so stupid. Yeah, I mean, what the hell? I mean, what the hell are you listening to? I mean, I'm not listening to it. I mean, I am actually. Sorry. Apparently, if it's number <laughs> yeah, one, I mean, everyone <laughs> everyone's listening, listening there's a lot to of, it. There's a lot of people listening to her in the closet. Come on, come on. You know. Yeah, there's a lot of closet uh, Taylor Swifties out there. She's kind. Of, she's kind of the reverse Guar. She likes her fans, and and we hate ours, and we just want to, you know, grind them up into bone meal. Yeah. She is uh, actually. She pretty she's much all, is the reverse Guar. She's so supportive and so nice to them, and. God we just insult selfies. our fans, and they keep coming back for more, and we just slap them and cover them in blood and bile, and they just love it. You guys are sick. and We, we like the sick fans. We don't like the nicey, yeah. nice, yeah. They like, they those like, are the they ones you got to watch out for, though. But those are the ones, what we're going to do, <laughs> I got a new idea. Let's switch tours. Yeah. And we show up at Taylor Swift's tour and kill all the nice yeah. cute people and then and the she's got to play could eat taylor swift exactly and then right. she's got to play in front of the pimply faced minions of fucking metal <laughs> they would eat her alive they, they'll eat her up <laughs> i would i so would pay win, for that win yeah. we'll switch tour buses tonight <clears throat> i've seen your tour bus and it's pretty uh it's pretty spectacular you, you, would you it really looks, want it looks a lot, lot, lot like a bat shaped helicopter, doesn't it? It does. It's a bacteria capsule, is what it is. 
You jam in whatever orifice you can and take a ride. <laughs> you have to run through the tongue gauntlet down the aisle of the bus. <laughs> That so glad, I'm so glad I have a jet pack. <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> I don't have to go with these guys. So how does one... You said you have to get initiated through coming to the Guar concert, but can I become a member of Guar? Like, how can I be part of Guar? No, you have to no. be from outer space. Yeah, you're, you're human. There's no, there's, human. No, there's no hope for me. Yeah, Because, you, know. no. you know, even like the Transformers, they had a, a couple, of they had a couple people that roam around yeah, with the Transformers. Bonds. You can become a slave Chumps. of Guar. Yeah. Chumps. A slave of Guar. Yeah, you can. We, 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 you know, have slaves. We use humans for our bidding all the time, so... I have one slave. All he does is buy toothpaste for me. Yeah, and I see you have a you have a he brushes his yeah. teeth. <laughs> yeah, all he does I'm, is just I'm brush your teeth. Man, I've been looking for a good dentist. Have you ever seen me? You know he's, any dentists he's around got a lot here? Of, a lot of janky teeth. Not around he here. I don't know. I don't know of any dentist that's certified in like alien. I mean, we had great dental plans. I'm from the wide world of sports yeah. and outer space, and we have great dental plans. But here, it's terrible. You can't get any dental coverage. My teeth are hurting. I'm, so I just have a slave that buys toothpaste. <laughs> so, Finds me the soft bristle brushes. The so, bristle brushes. So you're, the, you're, you're saying that you had better health care in outer space. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, your yeah, planet is ridiculous. Just, just waiting on us and yeah. oiling us down and taking care of anything that went wrong, broken bones and that sounds awesome. Yeah. Why, why, why are you here? Why did you come here? We got banished Look, here. It's punishment. They're, oh, yeah. they're, they're, That's true. They're I forgot punishment. about punishment. We're in the corner crying. Yeah. Like yeah. most of the children of America. But they're having a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you make it, you know. <laughs> you guys make this party where you're planet. At. The party's where you're at. Yeah, so. right. <laughs> and the party just goes wherever Gwar goes. Pretty much. Yeah. Right on. The master thought he was punishing us by sending us to the crappiest planet in the universe. But actually, we've had, we've been able to have a little bit of fun here, you know? We discovered crack. We yeah. discovered guitars. We you discovered ate all the TV. dinosaurs. You ate all the dinosaurs. We ate all the... They were tasty. Delicious. Yeah. Delicious. So we, we actually have a couple questions from listeners. And uh, Ray Roa from Creative Loafing, he's actually a writer, he wants to know if you prefer to eat your fetuses roasted or fried. Hmm. The executioner had this fetal flambe. Yeah, that was pretty good recipe. That was that, that was, was killer. That was probably the I, best I, I, I ever think, had. I think I like mine deep fried with li- little dipping sauce. It's pretty good. Hmm. What do you think? I never tried that, but I'm, I'm going with the fetal flambe. Yeah, that's good. Oh, my. fetal flambe. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I, I was wondering, I was wondering <laughs> about why you guys have abortions because I mean you should just like have it's, different terms of little snacks. Yeah, it's baby, know, the other weeks, white meat. Nine oh. weeks. Oh, that you hurts. Know. That hurts uh, to hear, man. You know, you I, just, oh. I mean, why are you why are you just throwing it away in the garbage? I don't know. I don't I mean, if you're gonna eat a koala, oh, man. yeah, the baby is soft. If you're gonna eat a koala, you just eat the anus and you just throw the husk away. Yeah, but why? baby, you why are you eating a koala? Every bit of a baby is perfect. Have you had koala? before no i never had i've oh. never had oh, the anus is mm. uh, mag it's, mm. it's a delicacy mm. so to answer the original question fried and i like my fetal flambe. Fried, but you know he likes fleet, fetal flambe you're, you're fancy I, I i get it i get it you like to be treated and pampered as jizz mac should yeah uh so we also have another listener question they want to know what is your favorite song to play live mine of course <clears throat> <laughs> that song's all right. I snuck it in on the record when they weren't looking. <laughs> yeah, he did. Or at least Bone Snapper didn't sing, so that yeah, was a plus. That, that, that was a saving <laughs> great. I think that's why the record was a success. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Uh, I think. Fuck this place. That's might, a pretty might, good too. It might say it all. That's for a, Guar. That's yeah. every place totally we go. True. We want to fuck see, it. We just want to make a especially big, Earth huge hole in the ground. We want to pillage the women and rape the cattle and just leave your town in flames and fuck this place pretty much says Sums and does that yeah it's got it's got a good beat and i can dance to it oh ah, yeah I, I dig that somebody else wants to know what is guar's favorite place to play so where, where is guar's favorite place to play hmm the you mean on this planet or on this planet yeah oh, the okay. cesspools of san francisco there is that's pretty good man that town is it's it's just it's everything you want. 
Yeah. He's got it all. Yeah, I mean, like when you go to Detroit or something like that, they can't tell if you've been there. I mean, because, you yeah. know, it's a big bombed out hole anyway. So, like, they can't tell that Guar was there. But you can really leave your mark on San Francisco. Yeah, you saying. know, these nicer places, you know, you know after smoldering the, crater after you're done. It's, you know, after the nice. dot com bubble popped. Now no one can afford to live in San Francisco. It's our duty it's to like bring a, it back to its to its original state, which yeah, you was strip it down. homeless, yeah. heroin, hippies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just an hippies. <laughs> so Guar is like an, heroin hippies. You're like an anti gentrification <laughs> oh, machine. Yeah, have you been to Brooklyn lately? It's I have. It, it, it's very. It sucks a lot. We there's used to buy crack comments. right at the base of the Williamsburg Bridge, and yeah. now there's a stroller. But the mom attached chained, to it. Chained to a, a bike rack because she's in getting a latte. Yeah. Huh. And the baby's still in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Is the baby chained deals. up too or what? Yeah. I sense some baby themes in this interview. So <laughs> we must be hungry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I am starving. It, it does sound you like You caught us early in the time. morning at the crack of noon here, so we haven't had our lunch. So, so we have heard, uh, Jismac, that you do enjoy some of our earthly delicacies, including uh, all of them. Hopefully. Well, I, I know you haven't found any yet. I'm still in the search. I heard you're a fan of the, of cigars. Absolutely. You know, we, we are in the cigar city. We are. I'm going to smoke up and down this block today in Ebor city uh, is. Are you? No, oh, absolutely. Right on. Are they rolling one? That's about the size of a square block. What they do they need got to. going? Yeah. Yeah. Like the Cheech and Chong. Yeah. You need like, need the, that big, big Led Zeppelin one. <laughs> Would you ever release a Siguar? We have. Have you? Yeah, uh, Tatuaje Cigars released a Saguar, and we did two editions of that for the barbecue. Oh, nice! Which was another great idea. Try to get more humans in one place, one place, so we could kill them. And we lured them in with like saguars and barbecue sauce, and like yeah, uh, all the vices. Yeah, yeah, you know what we had beer, we had guar beer, beer. we had vape juice. We try to put all it all vices. in there. Come on, lure come the humans on. Yeah. And it worked. It worked. Yeah. So, how, are there any cigars left? Yeah. No. How do we get our hands? No, on they're probably uh, all gone at this point. I think Sheep. there's some shops in Richmond, Virginia, that that have some, but they blew out of them. They were limited runs. Yeah. Everybody wanted one. Everybody <laughs> wanted to suck down on a nice fat <laughs> cigar. So we're pretty much out of time here. I know you have to go back to uh, feeding. So yeah. any final thoughts for the Tampa Bay listeners and the Cigar City Radio fans? Yeah, come see the Guar Show tonight in Tampa. And if this airs after we play, then these guys didn't do their job. So we're going to kill them next. Yeah. Oh, shit. So uh, <laughs> which one do you want? Who wants to go first? Uh, uh, you should definitely slow, murder, definitely murder or, Jason uh, what do you need? first. Yeah. You guys uh, are lucky we're thinking about food. Yeah. And that we're not fighting yeah. and using your arm and his leg as weapons yeah. to fight each other. Beat. This is a rare moment here for Jismac and Sawboy. But wait, which of his legs? Because he's got three. We'll, we'll beat you to death with each other. <laughs> Fetal flambe. Yeah, everybody wanted one. Everybody wanted to suck down on a nice fat cigar. If you're going to eat a koala, you just eat the anus and you just throw the husk away.